Welcome to the JJ Guardian channel. We're in From Other Sons and we're talking about ship capture. So when I first started playing this game, I initially started <clears throat> doing my ship captures uh, in much the same way many other do. Uh, and that is to uh, uh, use ship-to-ship -ship combat to bring down their weapons and then try to quickly beam over and take over the ship. Unfortunately, usually this meant that they repaired their weapons before I could get over there and do anything about it, or I'd end up blowing up their ship, which didn't help me either. So we're going to take a look at how I do it now and uh, uh, show you some of the advantages to that. So the first step here is to jump to an empty sector, because uh, that's where pirates are found, and see if they'll uh, and, and look for an FTL jam. Oh, we're jammed, so head straight for the teleporter. Don't call them, don't connect with them, don't talk to them. As soon as they jam, they indicate what their intentions are. Let's charge up our weapons and get ready to do combat. We're looking for their tactical area, their weapon systems, and we want to blow that away as soon as possible and then take out their crew. Now we could beam in anywhere, so we have arrived. Oh, there's tactical right there. We got lucky. Kill it, kill it, kill it. No, I'm ignoring the person just to kill it. All right, now, kill them. That's, I think there's one more over there, isn't there? Nope, that's all of them dead. Now I can go through and destroy the rest of their systems. That's the shields. Shields offline. They're gone. So this is the big ticket item right here. This is the tactical system, and it is the same. It looks exactly the same no matter what ship it's on. No matter what the design, the look, enemy, good guy, robot, doesn't matter. That's what the tactical system uh, looks like, so you got to look for that. Uh, knock that out, and you're good to go. So right now I'm looking for the blue key to the captain's quarters. Or sometimes it's, it's pink or orange. I'm looking for the key to the captain's quarters. Uh, you'll always find uh, charging stations in the teleporter room. So that's a good place to charge up and get ready for the next stage of combat, which is to kill the captain. Now there are achievements for killing, the cap killing pirate captains and achievements for killing pirate ships. I'm pretty sure they're not going to count you, you know, killing the captain if he's still alive when you destroy the ship. Uh, I think you got to kind of do them separately, so that's how I'm doing. Ah, there's the key there. Alright. So, now let's head to the bridge. I want to knock out these ships. I guess we're looking for other things we might need. There's the bridge right there. Shields are out. I think, yeah, I like to knock out all the systems. Just the thing I like to do. I've even been known, just for fun, to suffocate a captain. Experimenting when I couldn't get into the bridge because of a missing key to uh, beam over as the air is evacuating and be on the ship when he finally dies uh, without dying myself. <laughs> it's actually hard. Okay, so we're coming up to the bridge here. Door's locked. Get the key. Unlock the door and melt his face. They should do the trick. Face melting. Hello. Now I like to try to alternate my shots. Because every time the, uh, the enemy gets hit, he recoils. He doesn't get a chance to shoot. So if you are shooting two-handed, you hit him with one hand, then you hit him with the other hand, then you hit him and you go back and forth, back and forth. Uh, it, it tends to keep him uh, from shooting you view of our ship there. OK. 
Okay. I think we're going down here to see if we can't uh, get the cargo now. Oh no. No key. I have to beam back and get one. Unless we can find one laying about. Or, no, you know what? <laughs> there was a key and I forgot. To, uh, I dropped it. I didn't pick it up. easy. <clears throat> so one of the drawbacks to this particular approach is you don't see as much gear dropping as you would if you're doing station missions. And this means that as you do more and more of this uh, pirate uh, takeover, uh, you end up becoming more and more vulnerable to the increased damage weapons that the enemy are going to have as you progress. The closer you do get to Earth, of course, the harder things are getting and the uh, uh, higher the level of damage their weapons are causing. So if you're not getting those higher level damage weapons as well, that puts you in a tough spot. So that's where the station missions come in handy. Uh, so I wouldn't recommend uh, trying to do nothing but piracy missions. Um, they can be very lucrative, and that's what I was doing here actually, it was just nothing but piracy missions. But uh, as you can see there, I'm not making a ton of cash. I'm uh, really low on fuel and, and other things. The other thing is, if you're doing a piracy mission, you only get their cargo and that's it. If you're doing a uh, station mission, you can steal their cargo and you'll get a reward for completing the mission and you'll get cargo boxes laying around on the station. So there's advantages that way. But this year approach is useful when the pirates catch you and try to cause you some grief. So it's a good one to have in your back pocket. So there you go. That is Pirate Takeover 101. Uh, my approach anyway. I hope it was helpful. I hope you'll remember to like the video and I hope you'll remember to subscribe and we look forward to seeing you on from Other Sun.